Hey everyone, it's Jess. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that I have been trying really hard to focus on in my own life, and that is how to stay organized and efficient in all of the things that you do. I have a bunch of things that I have implemented into my own life and they are definitely working for me. Here are a bunch of tips that I have been cultivating over the last few months that help me get and stay organized and hopefully they will help you too. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first step that I have is try to make concrete goals for yourself and give yourself a timeline. So I have set myself daily, weekly, and monthly goals. And I also suggest for you to make quarterly goals too for your entire year, because that will definitely help you get some of the long-term stuff done in the time that you want to get them done in. And I definitely recommend for you to write them down somewhere. So this is my goals whiteboard. I keep this on my refrigerator. And if you look, I have daily, weekly, and monthly goals. I don't have my quarterly goals written on here because there wasn't enough space. But if you look, this definitely tells me everything that I need to do today and this week especially, and everything that I have to get done by the end of the month. So there's only two things left that I have to get done by the end of the month, and I only have this week to do it, so I definitely need to get working on those. But if you look, they are in my weekly goals. So they're definitely gonna happen this week, which I'm really excited to get all of this stuff done. And if you look here, it says film organized, which means film this video that I'm filming right now. So being a total badass, getting all of my stuff done, woohoo, that's what I wanna see, right? Anyway, so definitely setting yourself goals that have a deadline to them, so daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly goals has helped me tremendously to actually get some of this shit done that I have been putting off for literally months. Another tip that I have for you is make sure that you know the medium in which you need your goals and to-do lists to be written on. So for example, I have three areas that I stay organized in. I have my phone, I have that whiteboard that I showed you, and I have my journal. So this journal has both my journal entries. Huh, look at that, it's so pretty. Um, it has my journal entries in it from uh, the beginning of the year until now. And then it also has my video ideas in it. So if you look, this is like a long list of videos, more video ideas that I have. And, um, and I also have some video ideas on this page. So uh, the video portion of this isn't too organized, but I like having all of my journal entries in one place. And this is also something that I carry around with me daily, which is why I keep my video ideas in here too, because it helps me stay organized and make sure that I keep all of my video ideas together. So I said that I use my whiteboard and my journal. I also use my phone. So another tip that I have for you is to make lists. Lists are amazing. And I don't just mean to-do lists which are definitely helpful, but I also mean lists for things that just kind of come up in your daily life. So for example, on my phone, which I'm filming on right now, so I can't show you, but on my phone, I have a list of gift ideas for different people in my life. Like for example, I have a whole list of gift ideas for people that I want to get gifts for for Christmas. And then I also have a list of general gift ideas that kind of come to me that I want to keep and write down in case uh, like a birthday comes up or anything like that that I want to get someone a gift for. Specifically for gifts, I'm gonna be making a different video about this, but the reason that I have that list and carry it around with me on my phone is because I try to keep my gifts zero waste and minimal pretty minimal uh, so whenever I so sometimes it's hard to get a gift for someone that fits that criteria but I try to stick to my own morals while also getting gifts for others that people will actually use so whenever that idea comes up for me I put it in my phone I also keep a list for different meals that I'm gonna have so different meals that I think of throughout the day that are really good meal prep meals that I'd be able to make ahead of time and eat for lunch during the week while I'm working so when I say make lists, I mean make lists of things that it would make it so much easier for you if you already had something thought of instead of trying to think about something in the moment. Sorry if I fall, I'm standing in tree pose right now. <laughs> Yoga! Another tip that I have is stick to a routine or a schedule that works for you. There are some things that have like a concrete time in my life when it actually happens. Like for example, at the end of the day, every single day, David and I walk the dogs and that's the only time of the day that we are able to do it is right when we get home. So sticking to that schedule, make sure that the dogs get walked for one. And for two, it sets up the rest of my night for being productive because in my mind I'm thinking like, oh yeah, I already got the dogs walked and now I'm ready to get everything else done that I, need to, that I need to get done. And there are also some things in my life that don't happen at the same time every week or every day, 
but they are things that I specifically put into my calendar to make sure that happens. So for example, I'm trying to use my gym membership more because... I haven't been using it as often as I want to. The problem is I've been traveling a lot and in the beginning of the year when I was going to the gym three or four times a week I was doing really well. It was because I had a steady work schedule and I was in town and I was actually able to stick to that schedule. That doesn't really work for me anymore. My life is completely changing. I work from home now so my schedule is always changing based on the things that I just have to get done in the rest of my life. And my transportation situation is constantly changing based on the day of the week. So I haven't been able to get to the gym when I actually want to on a set schedule like Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays because my schedule is always changing. So the way that I combat that is I, in the beginning of the week, schedule the times of the week that I'm going to be going to the gym. So I'm going to the gym tonight and tomorrow and those are going to be my two days at the gym this week and I'm actually going to make sure that that gets done because it's in my calendar on my phone. So when I say keep routines or schedules, it doesn't have to be the same thing every day. Just make sure that you are setting time aside or putting something in a calendar or in a journal or on a whiteboard on your refrigerator in your phone whatever that makes sure that you have time scheduled for that thing or else it's just going to get away from you. My next tip is to digitize. So I am going to link down below uh, a couple of apps that you can use in order to use your phone as a scanner. I learned about this when I was in college and it like blew my mind and made everything so much easier for me. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to keep important documents like my marriage license, copy of my driver's license, my car insurance, stuff like that electronically on my phone. So I always have them. And of course, digitizing all of your important documents like tax documents and stuff like that, things that you don't necessarily need the original for will keep you more organized just in your general filing in your home. My next tip is to enlist help. Get an accountability partner, keep an open conversation with the people that you live with or the people that you spend a lot of time with about how you wanna stay organized. So this is something that I started doing as soon as I started making my whiteboard that I showed you earlier. I told David, this is gonna stay on the fridge and I'm gonna do everything that is on this list and if you need me to add something to this list, let me know. Just know that this is what my week is going to look like. And guess what? He started doing the same exact thing. It's helped us tremendously with budgeting and just staying organized in the rest of our life, getting chores done that literally we have been postponing for months. Like I have some things that have been on my list for the month of May that have been on my to-do list since January. And I actually finally got them done because this is the first month that I started doing that whiteboard with daily, weekly, and monthly goals. So enlisting the help of the people that you live with or that you spend a lot of time with or keeping an accountability partner to make sure that they make sure that you get your stuff done will definitely help. And my last tip is to plan events that are fun and actually do them. So I don't know about you, but I have become a little bit more introverted in my adult life in the sense that all I want to do at the end of the day or the end of the week is just sit and veg out in front of YouTube or Netflix. And while that's like a good deprogramming time for me. I don't know if it's necessarily good from a self-care point of view, but while that is time that I'm able to de-stress technically, it's not stuff that I really look forward to. And so I find for the days or weeks that I don't do anything actually fun, like have friends over or go to a bar and listen to some music or something or go on a hike or something like something that's actually fun and tangible that I can do. I find on those weeks when I don't do that stuff, I'm less motivated to get all the other stuff that I need to do done. So what I suggest is for you to write down some events that are going on in your area or just some things that are going on within your friend group that you want to attend or that you want to put together yourself and actually go to them, actually do them. Don't just talk yourself out of going to that free music event because you want to sit home in your bed. Push yourself out of the door, become a little bit more extroverted, and I promise you that you will become more motivated to do all of the other stuff that you have to do throughout your week. I hope that you found this helpful. I have been having a lot of fun organizing my life, but David and I are really trying to crack down on our adult life because we want to buy a house and we want to start a family and we want to settle down and get like big boy and big girl jobs, and we can't do that if we're a total hot mess in the rest of our lives. So this is something that I've really been trying to focus on in order to become more adulty. Let me know if you found any of these tips helpful. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to do more organization videos. Again, I'm kind of a beginner at this kind of stuff, but I'm happy to explore different areas of organization if that's something that you're interested in seeing as well. Make sure to subscribe. I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let me know if you have any requests too down below. I will see you guys later. Bye.